Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. We continue to speak about React hooks and React context. In this lesson, we will make delete functionality of our application. When we click this garbage icon, we want to delete related employee. Let's go back our code. And here, let's go to our employee context. What we speak about employee context. From employee context, we can send this data, but at the same time, we can send this functionalities via this employee context. For example, here, we are sending employees data and add employee functionality. We can also send from here our delayed functionality. So let's write here delayed employee function cons delayed employee. In delayed function, the most important issue is the catch ID of employee, which we want to delete from our list. And then we will filter this list with other employees. Let's take ID as a parameter here and write arrow function. And now we will set again our set employees, set employees. We will filter our list with other employees. IDs of other employees are not equal the ID of deleted employee. We will write this like that employees list dot filter and this filter will run to us employee. This employee's ID employee dot ID will not be equal the deleted employee and the ID of is deleted employee this ID. Save the file and now we have an error. Huh. Oh, sorry, this will be employees. Save it again. Okay, now we have to also send delete employee function via provider. We'll write here delete employee. Save the file. Okay, now everything is working. Now it is time to call this delete employee function from a component which we want to use it inside of component let's for this we will call it this function from employee.js so we came to employee.js and here first we will convert this links to the buttons for this reason I will write here button tag and later close button tag here close it and then we don't need this href attribute and for class name we need btn class and text danger class and then btn dash act class this btn act class will be our custom class and let's copy this for the link for edit link paste here for edit link text danger will be a text warning this class is text door text warning and text danger for these icons to catch these colors of these icons and then tap here later I have to close this edit button also save the file and let's go our application and now our button is under each other for this reason let's go to index.css and here in, inside of index.css Life chart has to be 150 pixel width and also I will add here my custom class like dash btn dot btn dash act open parenthesis and here I want padding padding is for pixel save the file and now our icons are side by side. Let's go back our code, close this index.css. Now I will add on click event to our button, this delete button, and this on click event will fire delete employee function. Let's go here and come button on click event on click, and this event what we said will fire automatically delete employee function and this employee function will take one parameter this parameter is an id id of 
employee which one which we want to delete it so we will take this id from this employee and i am coming here i write here employee dot id save the file now as you can see our delete employee is not defined because we didn't import it so i will come at the top of the page first i have to need this context because from context i will export this delete employee function for importing context i will write here import employee context from where from dot dot slash up directory up context directory from this context directory employee context save the file and i will come here and i will use this context of course to use a context i need also use context hook for this reason i will import import use context from react module okay now i can use our employee context i came here and i am saying cons i am extracting here cons delete employee is equal use context use context and this context will be employee context save the file and everything is working let's go back our application let's try to delete this dominic i click this garbage icon click it and now as you can see we successfully delete our employee let's open our console if we have any error in console we don't have any error and when you go back to components and from the provider inside the provider we have state and inside of context provider as you can see we have this add employee function and delete employee function and we could delete our content successfully we can delete all of them and when we refresh our data will come again as i said before we will solve this issue later with local storage this is the end of today's lesson in the next lesson we will continue to speak about react hooks and react context